Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, no matter what time it is. Hope that you, my friends, are having another amazing day. Today is a very sunny day because we're going to give you, I'm going to give you literally the formula for massive success. I'm going to show you how to scale your business. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in real estate, if you're in landscaping, if you have any kind of retail sales or a, a service type business, this works for pretty much any industry. And so I'm really excited to get into it here. Um, let me tell you a little story about, about me. So I'm 45 years old now. Just about a year ago, I had a widow make a heart attack at the age of 44. 100% should be dead. Uh, and I truly believe my purpose in life is to help people just like you uh, be successful and teach this kind of stuff. So I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, just throwing that out there. But at the end of the day, um, I, I almost worked myself to death. And the situation was, I did the, the, the math equation very early in my life and I said, hey look, if I wanna get rich, I simply just have to work more hours than everybody else. And to an extent, that's correct. And so I just did the math. I said, hey, look, if everybody else is working 40 hours a week and I can work 100, I can, I can scale two and a half times faster than anybody else can just by simply just doing the volume of work required. And so that works for a short amount of time until you burn out and you have a will make a heart attack and then game over, right? And so since then, I've really been kind of analyzing my systems and I started putting this in place several years ago when I really understood what it takes to be massively successful and scale yourself because one person alone simply can't do it. You need something called leverage. And so you can leverage your time and you can leverage your money or resources. And I'm gonna show you potentially how to do both here. And so um, I'm gonna get right into it. Guys, uh, if you're in real estate, you need to be spending money on advertising, hands down. It's one of the best forms of leverage that you can get inside of residential real estate is literally just spending money on advertising. Now, we've got a whole course on, on this kind of stuff, so you guys can hang out with me, get a subscription. Uh, I will be delivering a lot of this content. I'll show you exactly where to spend your money, if you've got big budgets, if you've got small budgets, and everything in between to build a brand, which is something that you're gonna need going into 2024 and beyond, how to tell stories and how to do proper sales. So, uh, getting right into it. That's enough about that. You need to spend money on advertising. Let me just put a quantity of money out there. I was one of the largest spenders on Zillow for a long time in Maricopa County, and I did a ton of business. The more money you spend on your business, the faster you can scale it up, the more leverage you have. And so that becomes an exponential type activity. And so please, 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 when you're thinking about spending $200 a month in advertising, that is so small that you'll never get the result that you're looking for, and then you're gonna swear at me, and you're gonna swear off advertising forever, and be like, it just never works. When I talk about spending money on advertising, I'm talking about magnitudes of five to ten thousand dollars a month. You think you can't afford it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you can't afford not to. So, ad spend. Uh, hopefully, get you to six figures using this formula. So the formula is very simple: ad spend times ROAS. What is ROAS? It sounds like a dirty word, right? And so ROAS is simply return on advertising spending. Um, and so that's literally it, it's return on advertising, it's ROI on your ad spend. Then you have something called TTFS, which stands for time to first sale or time to first success. So let me play it out for you. I run an ad here on day one, and I'll call it day one. And then here, the time to first sale is probably 90 days, okay? If you're in real estate, it's about average, because here's kind of what happens. You run an ad, somebody gets interested, it takes 30 days to run an ad and get somebody to respond. Somebody responds to your ad and is like, hey, I'm looking to buy soon. What is soon? Well, probably put an offer in within the next 30 days. You get pre-qualified, you show them some homes, uh, you do a listing, whatever the situation is, you get them into escrow, which is another 30 days. So you've got 30 days worth of ads, respond date, which is day 30, and then you've got 30 days of looking, and then you've got 30 days to close. So if you want to think about in, in terms of this example, TTFS is 90 days, or I want you to express it in times per year, cycles per year, I want to say four cycles a year. Okay, because this can give you what's called the velocity of money, how fast it can turn this over. And so let me break down the equation again for you. Ad spend, let's just use a dollar for example, just easy, easy math. Now return on ad spend is simply gonna be a component, an exponent, right? So it, for every dollar, maybe let's just scale this up. Uh, for every thousand dollars I spend on advertising, because I think it's a more realistic number, I expect to close one deal. Now one deal, is gonna you know, net me out approximately 10K, right? So I'm gonna say this is a 10X environment here. Now, by the way, 10X is a really, really good multiplier. Matter of fact, my license plate says 10X ROAS, uh, ROAS, and so it's kind of funny, but you know, that's always my benchmark. This is hitting it out of the park. More realistic, for a lot of my campaigns, I'm in the three to four X type category. 
where for every thousand I'm spending, it's maybe getting me three to four thousand dollars back. Or you know, conversely, you can look at it and say, hey, it cost me four thousand dollars to make uh, ten thousand or eleven thousand or twelve thousand dollars back. And roughly, you can kind of get an idea. So it's called cost per acquisition or CPA. And so in real estate, I'm willing to pay six thousand dollars to make ten thousand. In a lot of cases, ideally, I'd be at like three k. You know, that's pretty ideal. Ideally, I'd be at one k, right? That'd be super awesome. That means I'm getting 10x. But how many times would you turn 6,000 into 10,000? As many times as you could, right? And so then it just becomes part of this equation. And so we can look at it and say, hey, if my ad spends 1,000 and my ads are pretty dang good, so you got really good efficiency here, right? Then I can get a 10x multiplier here, but check it out. I've got another 4x multiplier here because I can cycle that same initial investment on my advertising four extra times. So now I've taken you know, $1,000, which was my initial ad spend, times 10 times four equals 40K. Okay, now we're doing something, right? So then you just gotta find the advertising vehicle that can get you this. And so this is, this is a measure of efficiency. How efficient are your ads? If you've got really bad ads, your efficiency might be one to one or less, which is bad. Right? It means you're losing money if, it's, if for every dollar you put in, you get less than a dollar back or some kind of multiplier here. So getting good at advertising is definitely an art and it takes a long time to do. So I always kind of joke about it. Like you're going to pay for your education one of a couple of different ways. Me, I'm really dumb and I do a lot of dumb things over and over typically. And so I would run ads and I would run them for way too long and I wouldn't try enough. Let me say something about this. You need to create a lot of different ads probably 10 different ads for each campaign that you're running, and I want you to A-B test every single one of them. So out of 10 different ads, I probably have one really good hitter that's a 10X, and by the way, all the other ones are probably closer to this, but this one makes up for all the other ones. And so you know that's a really good indicator that you're on the right track. And then you can narrow it down, and then it burns out eventually, and then you can do it again. Uh, and so you know, creating ads is kind of one of those lost art forms, it really is, uh, but you gotta be good at it, and the only way to get good at it is by practicing. So look, look at this equation again. The other thing I can do here is I can cut this down from four times a year uh, to 12 times a year, right? And so you're like, hey, Carl, how can I do that? Because you know most escrows are taking 30 days. Well, just simply just find somebody that's ready to transact today. Somebody's got a pre-qualification that has already you know, kind of explored the market and understands what they're looking for in the market and is ready to move today or maybe list today. So you know, today happens to be a Thursday. And so maybe it's a situation somebody calls me off one of my ads and is like, hey, I'm ready to list today. I say, hey, awesome, I'm gonna meet you tomorrow or tonight, heck, we'll meet tonight. We'll take pictures tomorrow, we'll upload that thing, we'll do a big open house on Saturday. Hopefully by Sunday we'll get that thing in escrow. Now I'm really like 30 plus, 32, 33 days out for being able to transact or you know, having that TTFS, the time to first sale. And so that's quick. That means I could turn that money over much, much faster and that's probably the biggest multiplier here, so check it out. So I'm just looking for people that are further down the funnel. So you, you have a couple different points of leverage here. And again, leverage is literally the only way you can get rich. You can't do it with time alone. Time is again, a one-to-one, -one. we need exponential. So we can do an exponent of ad spend, which is really hard to do for a lot of people, right? I can just simply spend more money. You know, like if, hey, you know, if you're locked in here, maybe it's a one to two ratio, you just gotta spend 5,000 bucks to get 10,000 hours back, heck, I'll do that all day, right? And then you just gotta worry about getting that thing closed. And so that's literally your only concern. Or I can make better ads, and that's just, again, take his practice. Or I can decrease the amount of time it takes for a full transaction. And that's how you actually leverage these things. And so a couple things I'm gonna do for you. Number one, I will be talking about where to spend your money. This is going into 2024 right now. I'm gonna look at exactly what we're doing right now to really generate a lot of leads. And guys, we generate a lot of leads, over a thousand a month, very consistently. I'll show you what platforms we're using, what kind of ads we're using, how much we're spending, what the result is, what the follow-up systems are, how that looks, and I'll show you the actual ads, right, which is the efficiency part of this. And then I can give you guys a lot of tips as far as systems in place to expedite the sales process, to make sure that you're talking to pre-qualified buyers or sellers, and we'll call them buyer or seller in heat, and I'll talk about the four quadrants, we'll talk about so many good things. So guys, I need you to take two seconds to like and subscribe. That's it for today. Get the heck out of here, go make some ads, Love you to death. Please stay two seconds again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks so much. Take care. See ya. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick.
Someone get the money, kinda I can keep a 